Hey guys. In some of my older videos I've recorded with Blender 3.3 and earlier, I've used the transfer attribute node and I got many questions about how to do this with Blender 3.4 and up because in newer versions this node isn't available anymore. So I thought it would be cool to show you how to do this with newer versions of Blender. So here I have a little test setup where I use the default cube and this default cube has a geometry node setup. And in this setup, I create a sphere. And on this sphere, I instance some lines. And I want to set the endpoint position of these lines to the nearest surface they can find in this collection I have here. This collection are simple spheres. So yeah, how would we do this? In Earlier versions of Blender, I would simply take this collection I have here, then a transfer attribute, set it to nearest surface, and then transfer the position. But in newer versions, we don't have this node, so we have to use two other nodes. In this case, we uh, use the sample nearest node. And this gives us the nearest position it can find. Here we can choose the domain, point, edge, face, or face corner. In this case, I'll leave it at point for now. And now we have the index of the nearest position. And now we can take the sample index node. And here I simply have to plug in this index. I use the same geometry for the input. And now this is similar to what the transfer attribute does. So I can name this here, transfer attribute. Now I only have to choose what I want to transfer. In this case, I want to transfer a position. So I set this to vector. Then I take the position, plug this in the value input. And now I can use this for the set position node here. And here you can see that all of these endpoints are placed at the nearest surface it can find. So yeah, that's really it for this tutorial. This here is the similar setup to what the transfer attribute did in earlier versions. I hope you liked this tutorial and see you next time.